Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in yesterday's video we created this little section that expands to reveal the content when you hover over it. Really easy to do. We had a question, somebody said can you pop up some content by clicking on the icon rather than having it expand and reveal it that way? And the answer is yeah you can. If we go down here I've got a little icon there. If I click on it, it's going to pop up some content and you can pop up any content you want doing this and I'll show you how. And we're not using a plugin for this today. We're using a bit of script and code provided by Elegant Themes themselves. And you can make it pop up from an icon. You can make it pop up from a word. You can make it pop up from a button, whatever you want. So let's get started. I'm going to enable, enable the Visual Builder here. Now let's go down. And I'll delete this whole section that we've got here. And also the section with the content that I'm popping up there. Okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new section. And this first section is going to have the little icon that I want to pop up from. And you don't have to use an icon. Like I say, you can use anything you want. I'm going to use a regular section for this. We've done this previously in a video, but it's so easy. I'm happy to do it again. This first section, I'm going to put a single column in and you can put this module in any section you want an existing section if you want. I actually used an icon last time, just had the icon. Let's pop a blurb in this time so we can have perhaps a title underneath and say more information or something. And there it is right there. I don't want any content. And I actually want to use an icon. So if we roll down a little bit, image and icon, I want to use an icon. Let's use an info or something, exclamation like that. That'll work fine for me. Of course, you can go over to design and make it any color you want and any size you want. Let's make it blue. And I might take it down a little bit in size, let's say 60 pixels perhaps. Just put in the 60, it'll put the pix view. There it is right there. My little title, I'd like to have that directly underneath it. So you can either go down to title text or hit the little paintbrush beside it. It'll take you straight there, H4. All I want to do is pop that underneath there. Wouldn't mind it a little bit closer. So I'm going to take the title line height down a little bit. As I'm taking it down there, you can see it getting closer. Great, well that's going to work for me. Fantastic. Now let's go into our section. I'm going to give it a colored background so you can see exactly what's going on. Blue tab for a section, green tab for a row, dark tab for a module. Let's go into the blue tab. I'll give it not quite a black, but pretty close. Let's give it that one. Great. Well, I don't want it as wide as that, so I'm going to take the padding away from top and bottom on the section itself. So in design, I'm going to go down to spacing. I'm going to take away any padding by simply putting a zero in the top, hitting the chain. It'll do the same for the bottom. Great, that's our little section done. I want to be able to read that writing a bit better. So let's go back into the module itself. Again, we can go into the title, hit the little paintbrush. And let's make that light in color, perhaps. Great. Well, that's what we're going to use to actually trigger the section we want to pop up. So let's actually create the section or the content that we want to pop up. So I'm going to add a new section and it's really important you put this section in a different one that you've got this in because this is what we're going to use to pop it up. And this section we're creating now, I'm going to use a regular section, will disappear on the front end. So if you put this in the same section, it won't be there on the front end. You won't be able to click on it. Well, I'm just going to add two columns. Like I say, you can pop up anything you want here as much or as little as you want. On the first one, I'll just put a call to action. I'm not going to put a button in there. And let's say, give me privacy, whatever you want. I went over to Jack chat to GPT and asked it to write a hundred word generic website privacy policy. And anybody that's interested, go to openai.com. Chat GPT is absolutely free. 
this is what it came up with i'm going to just pop that in there normally i'd use lorem ipsum but this works really well so i'm going to replace that with my ai generated text fantastic uh, let's change that background also to that blue color. You'll always find background and the content. Okay. And then next door, you can chuck in whatever content you want there. I'm just going to chuck in a video module or something like that. And I'm going to leave it on the default TV video out there. That's great. And like I say, you can continue adding content, make it what you want. It's no problem at all. I'm just going to leave my like that in this section here. I'm going to make the background dark. In fact, I'm going to make it black and just take the opacity down just a tad. You'll see it shading up in gray a little bit as it's going through the white below. Just purely when it pops up, you'll get a hint of the website beneath it. Okay. Well, let's save that and we'll make the magic happen. To make the pop-up and all this, we need to get a bit of script and CSS from elegantthemes.com. And I'll put this link below the video. Great little article, it's worth a read. If we go down, we've got some CSS right here. You need to copy all of this CSS from where it says body there, all the way to the closing tag at the bottom. Control C. Then you need to go to your theme options. Anybody that doesn't know how to get there, down to the dashboard, down to Divi, and then theme options. That's going to take you to the general tab right here. If you roll down, you've got a custom CSS panel at the bottom. You can use the additional CSS panel if you want to in the theme customizer page but it all ends up in the same place. So once you've copied that, you want to put it down here. It's always a good idea to give your code a title and a title is forward slash, star star forward slash. Anything that you write in between the two stars will not be read as code. So it's a great place for title and notes. I'm just to say pop up. Then just below that, you can paste in that bit of code right there. Once you've pasted that in there, Go down to your save changes and hit save changes. I'm not going to do that because I've already got mine in there. So I'm going to delete this. Mine's further down. And I'm going to save my changes. Okay, so once you've pasted your code in there and saved the changes, we need to go back and get a bit of script. And we'll go back to the top of the page up here. If we go down a bit further, we've got some JavaScript code here. We want to take it from the opening script tag there to the closing script tag at the bottom. Again, control C to copy. We'll go back to our theme options again, where we left it last time. We need to go over to integration. And we need to add the code to the head of our block here. I've already got mine in there. If you've got code in there for something else, simply go down below it and paste your code in there, control V to paste. I'm gonna undo that, control Z, because I've already got the code in there. Once you've pasted that in there, make sure you do it to the head of your blog here. Save your changes again till you get the little green check mark. Great, and we're all set up there. So what we need to do now is give these class names to tell them what they need to do. And if we look back over on the elegant themes here, if we roll just up a little bit. The thing that we're going to use to pop it up in our case, the icon or the blurb module, we need to give the class name of ET button one. So I'm going to copy that again, control C to copy. Go back to our page this time. I want to go into the module that we want to use to pop up the section over to advanced CSS IDs and classes. In the class name, not the ID, we want to paste that control V. There it is. I'm going to save the changes. Now we need to tell it what section it needs to pop up. If we go back to our page here and roll up a little bit more, 
tells us we need to assign ETLB content one to the thing we want to pop up. And you may notice that it says content dash one here and also con button dash one here. If you want to pop up more than one thing on a page from different buttons, just change that last number to a two and the button you want to pop it up with to a two here as well. And you can make as many as you want on the same page. You will need to give them a unique number on the end there. Great, well, let's go back there. Now, this is the content that I actually want to pop up. So I'm going to go into the section. I'm going to go over to advanced again. Down at CSS IDs and classes. CSS class again, not an ID. Yeah, we'll pop that name in there. That's great. Okay, well, let's save our changes and see what we've got. Little purple button at the bottom. You can save the changes and exit the Visual Builder. Let's roll on down to where we were working. There's our little icon. You may notice that the section is no longer below there, but when I click on it, it's going to pop out into this light box. We give it slightly opaque background there so you can see a bit of the website through. But we've got our little closing X up here. Like I say, you can add more of these by just simply just changing the number on the end of those CSS classes. And if you want to edit the color of the little X up there, if we look at the CSS, let's go back to our theme options here. Go back down to the general. I'll have to find this code. It's down. I've got a lot of other code in here. There we go, pop-up section. And if we roll down a bit, Here's our little closing. There's the color FFF, and it tells you the color of it right beside it, so you can change that to any color you want. If you wanted to put a background in to make it stand out a bit more, you could do. It's got 10 picks padding all around of it. So let's maybe put a background red in there. Let's just say background. Let's call it red. Whatever color you want to put in there, obviously. And position wise, it's right. It's minus one of the viewable width so it's slightly to the right there and it's minus 51 picks down so if you wanted to change how high up it was you could do so there let's just save our changes and we'll go back and refresh this page and let's try that again now as you can see we've got a little red background on our cross there which is great. If you wanted to change a position, you could do with that minus 51 and a minus one viewable width there. But I'm happy with that. I'm going to take that red away. I don't think I like it, but it's just another option for you. If you don't like something, simply delete it. Save the changes again. And we'll go back, refresh this page. Now we should be back to how we were. There we go with our little YX there. So there you go, guys. There's how to pop up any content you want from a little icon or a button or some text, whatever you want to use as your trigger to pop it up. Really easy to do. Like I say, that code's all available here on the Divi Elegant Theme site. And I'll have this link below the video for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. And I hope that's answered that question for you. Like I say, if you want to pop up, that's the way to do it without a plugin. If you just want it to appear, that's the way to do it on a hover. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make you a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.